Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another story time. I'm Matthew Myers and I'm reading to you A Hero's Prayer by Sherry Rose Shepherd. There once was a boy named Carter. He had an amazing imagination. At bedtime, Carter would fall asleep and dream about heroes with superpowers. And sometimes he dreamed about having superpowers too. Carter would fly through the air, rising up from his room, his house, and his neighborhood. Soon he was flying above the city, zipping around tall buildings and rescuing people from danger. Guess what I dreamed about last night? asked Carter. Mama paused from sipping the coffee. Hmm, let's see. How many people did you rescue? Just one this time, Carter said. I was flying over a baseball field and found a lost lady. She looked like Grandma. And so I flew her home. Mama smiled. I'm sure she was happy about that. Then Mama looked into Carter's eyes and asked, Son, if you could have superpowers, what would they be? Carter thought for a minute. Then he replied, I want to fly so I can rescue people. I want to be strong so I can pick up broken down cars and carry them to the gas station. And I want to be invisible. Mama looked at the clock and said, Can you be my hero and put away the dishes? We need to leave soon. When they arrived at school, Carter said, Mama, I want to pray that I can be a hero today. Mama agreed, and before she had time to close her eyes, he started praying. Dear God, thank you for school and my friends and playtime, and please, I want to be a hero. Can you make me one? I want to fly and be super strong and be invisible. Amen. Carter waved goodbye to Mama. He couldn't wait to play superheroes with his friends. After school, Mama and Carter went to the grocery store. They didn't need much and soon wheeled over to the checkout lane. In the, behind the, in the line behind them, a family unloaded their groceries. The father looked very nervous. He pulled out his wallet and looked at the money inside. Then he said, I'm sorry, kids. We have to put some things back. You can take back my favorite snacks, Daddy, the girl offered. The dad took her back, bag of snacks along with a few other items and said he would be right back. Carter looked at Mama and whispered, that girl just gave back the same, the same snacks I have. I want to give her my snacks. Mama paid for the snacks, and Carter gave the bag to the girl. Then Mama and Carter quickly left the store. Mama looked at Carter as he helped load the car. She said, You know what? I think God answered your prayer to be a superhero. You just used your superpower to be invisible. I wasn't invisible. Oh, yes, you were. You gave that girl your snacks and no one else saw it. Do you think God saw? asked Carter. God sees everything, replied Mama. And he works in invisible ways sometimes, too. Today, that girl got to see the invisible hand of God because you gave her your snacks. In the car on the way home, Carter said, It felt really good to give my snacks to that girl. True heroes have a heart like God, said Mama. They look out for people. They try to make the world a better place. That night during supper, Carter said, I had fun using my invisible superpowers yesterday. Today. Mama explained, Son, you have something better than superpowers. You have the heart of a hero. And that is more powerful than flying strength or being invisible. Carl smiled, Carter smiled deeply down to his toes and then he raced away. Play superheroes, of course. Now, the ending verse is, Lord, when did we ever see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you something to drink? And the king will say, I tell you the truth, when you did it to one of the least of these, my brothers and sisters, you, you were doing it to me. And, and there is a mirror here that says, I am, oh, I am God's hero. Sorry, I just kind of knocked down my entire dresser. I am God's hero. The end. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the book and have a great day. All right, bye.